assume we want to add a pin tuck at the front pants. First, we need to ensure that there is enough fullness along the front pattern before adding the pin tuck. To do so, we rotate half the dart on the waist to the hem of the pants. We ensure Edit Points is enabled. We click on the existing dart and select Rotate Dart in the context view. We set the target location to the hem of the pants and select the outer part of the pants to rotate. We use the gizmo and rotate the dart. Alternatively, we can type in the dart width value and try and see which value is best. We want the distribution to be as even as possible. 1.7 cm looks OK as the bottom dart is now 1.53 cm in width. We click Done. We implement the darts and delete them. We remove the corner points and mark them as notches. We only need a fullness of 1 cm at the top and bottom as the pin tuck width will be 1 cm. The waistline has 1.7 cm dart fullness and the hem had 1.5 cm dart fullness. So using the slash and spread function, we perform a slash and close on the waistline and hemline. We make sure we place the anchor on the front of the pattern to avoid that portion from shifting. We remove 0.7 cm from the waistline and implement spread. Then we repeat the same steps to remove 0.5 cm from the hem. We implement the spread. Lastly, we want to add a 1 cm fullness to the hip. So we select the hip point with Edit Points enabled. Then we enable Multi Move. In the Transformation section, we move the hip point by negative 1 cm along the x axis. Great! Now we need to add internal lines for the pin tuck. We draw an internal line snapping to the notch point on the waistline and the hem. Next, we select the internal line and do a clone by offset. We need to create two lines. So we clone by offset the line from the center, 0.5 cm along the x-axis. And we select the internal line again and do a clone by offset from the center of the line, negative 0.5 cm along the x-axis. We ensure that the new internal lines are extended to the edges. We add points to the edges for the three internal lines and we convert them to corner points. We repeat the same for the hem. The middle internal line will be the folded line on the pin tuck. We select the middle line and enable the iron property in the context view. We input 90 degrees and dress so that the line is creased on the garment. Once it has creased, we stitch the right and left internal lines together, and we click dress to see the results. Finally, we need to lower the grid size and use the focused pinch. We need to adjust the stitches along the waist to exclude the pin tuck. And we have a pin tuck. What do we do if we need to stitch down part of the pin tuck? To do so, we draw an internal line and move it 0.5 cm to the right. Next, we stitch the middle pin tuck line and adjust the stitches to match. And that is how we add a pin tuck to a garment in V-Stitcher.